Hey, it's Rowan with Deer Park Farmstead. All right, today's the day. We are gonna put the eggs in the incubator. So I'm gonna show you um, the eggs, which ones we're gonna put in. Uh, we've dated them and stuff like that, so we'll go from here. It's an exciting time for us. So I'm gonna do it in different parts. All right, here are the eggs, and we put the dates that we harvested from outside. Uh, so we did it within a week's time. We don't want to go any longer than a week. So um, we're going to go ahead and put all these eggs in. We're still, we still might have a couple left for later on. So uh, we'll just stick those in later on. So let's go ahead and stick these eggs in the incubator. Very excited. Um, as you can see, they're different sizes. Uh, we've got these pretty small ones here from uh, the smaller Americanas. And this one, she is our oldest moss. And she is really a good egg layer. She's been a good egg layer since day one. So let's go and put them in. So this is the Brinzi. Uh, it's a 56 ovation EX model. It uh, we've got the uh, we're putting the tube for the water for the to keep it nice and hydrated inside there. And um, also this is an automatic tray turner. Mechanism is right back here. As you can see, it gives us the reading on the temperature and humidity. Right now, we're doing 100 degrees with 50 uh, on the humidity. Uh, we also have a secondary that came with this uh, that the uh, lady, the previous owner, she gave to us. We have a backup fan that she gave to us and if in case the fan breaks, we have that backup and she said just to buy another one just in case. It's always good to have a backup ready to rock and roll, uh, especially during a cycle. So as you can see, some of these trays are already starting to turn and um, so it's really cool the way this machine works. Uh, we've just got a few trays in here because we're just gonna do some Americana Easter egg or type eggs. And um, we've got uh, some changes going on outside. So we decided one thing is not working out. Okay, this has been running for 24 hours. I used a cleaning solution that Brinzi gives you. Uh, it's uh, one teaspoon to 16 ounces. So went ahead and cleaned it all up. So we're ready to go ahead and put the eggs in. All right, we've got the eggs all put in, pointed side down. So we have this set up at 100 degrees. 50% uh, humidity. Okay, so we put them in. Had to put a little spacer inside here to accommodate for the, you know, this spaces of the eggs. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll just kind of keep an eye on things, see if they shift while they're turning. So we'll go ahead and give you an update as we go. So we're on day one. Exciting stuff. All right, today's candling day. So we have one tray out. And see that baby moving? See the baby. That one's good. That's cool. Oh, another baby. Yep, I could see it moving around in there. That one's good. Oh, this one's 
yeah, this one's from a earlier date. It's pretty far. Far along? Or? Mm-hmm. Already up there it is, right there on the hand. Perfect. Oh, that one's really? a good one. Wow. See how clear that is? There's the baby. See one Okay, one more. Yep, and... Well, this is a real dark egg. It's not really coming in too clear. There it is, I can see it. So all. let me show you. So this is... Um, okay, we did have one egg. That is from our neighbor. You can there tell, see, this clear. is... This is a not non-fertile. No good. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining in on the candling day. All right. It's lockdown day. We have 28 days that have made it this far. We are just about to candle them and take them off of their trays. They're, they're still in the trays right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out of that of their trays and gently place them on a mat. We, we've got a mat here so they don't drift too far. This is like uh, a drawer liner. So um, lockdown day and then three days for them to start pipping and um, hatch. So exciting. Okay, again, we are in lockdown. So we've got all these eggs out of the trays. We had 28. We went ahead and um, candled them with this light and um, two of them didn't make it. And so we took that, took those two out. So we have 26 inside of here and we adjusted the humidity a little higher. So we're just waiting for these guys to start Pipping. All right, day 20. We've got first signs of pipping. This is amazing. I will continue to monitor and keep you updated. So excited. <gasps> is it dead? No. Oh my God. Oh my God, it just. Cut out. out right now. Oh, I missed it. We literally just saw it pop out. Mom, let me see. You. Oh, cute. Hi, oh. little guy. It's, so it's a lot bigger now. Uh, it's it's definitely wow. silver, like Lucy. Welcome to the world, little buddy. This guy wants to emerge so bad. It's pretty awesome. This is the first one out of our 26. And this is day 20. So we haven't even gotten our 21. But I'm, we're thinking this is going to be, it's currently like close to 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. So we're thinking it's going to be probably completely out within an hour. Stay tuned. Number 12. Just about ready to come out. Some little baby. These guys are trampling all over each other. <laughs> uh, it's kind of nerve wracking, isn't it?
this is our first hatching incubator batch on the farmstead. We couldn't be more happy right now. This is incredible. Miracle. Can you see this one? It's still connected, the umbilical cord, to the egg itself, so it's still separating. dark. Humility, humidity rises quite a bit once these guys all come about here. Let's, let's see both the Moran eggs that we had in here. Those are going to be Easter eggers so they're going to be a little darker than Americana. It's all just Americana and Marlins. All right, we are on day twenty-two, and I am happy to say we have a hundred percent hatching rate. All twenty-six chicks hatched. This is so crazy that on our first attempt at hatching we got 100%. This is incredible. And check them out. They're just so there there's quite an, a variety, you know, and that's usually what happens with these um Americanas. We do have one that took a little time here, so um, we had to get these other birds out and eating. But they're they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. So we are so happy. So we still have the incubator going for this last hatchling over here. We're calling this one the miracle. The miracle bird. Because it's just it didn't it was it didn't stop. And I love that about you know fighting and uh, we were getting nervous. I was definitely nervous and uh you know, every time we open up that thing, we had to grab a bunch of them at one time and uh, get them all out and in here. So we it didn't we didn't open it too long, and both my wife and I did it. So it was like a quick, quick snatch up, and it worked. We had two eggs that were still uh, questionable, and so we decided to put the birds in here and. That one makes me nervous. I think that's one of the last ones. And um, so it worked. When we woke up this morning, one of them was hatched, and then this other one was very close. So that worked out. Hope you enjoyed the series. And uh, look forward to doing another one very soon. Have a good day.